family. So advice for my younger self. Most importantly, don't do things that keep you alive, but rather do the things that make you feel alive. For the longest time, I got caught into the trap of the rat race, you know, thinking that there was a way to amass wealth by working harder. But in reality, I was tricking myself into exhaustion because you have to work smarter, not harder. It's not about how hard you work. You can work, you can wake up every day and work 14, 20 hours a day, right? But at the end of the day, if you're doing it for peanuts, then that's not the smartest way to employ your resources. So... Now that I have a little bit more of wisdom through the experience of life and going through the different phases of having money, not having money, and understanding its value truly, money is an asset. It's a tool. And it allows you to have experiences. And experiences are necessary for your soul's growth. That's not to say that you can't have experiences without money. However, it enhances. It's just like salt. It's a flavor enhancer. But too much and it can make it not edible. It can make it not taste good. And so you have to balance. You have to moderate yourself. And so understand it's not about making more money. It's about minimizing your expenses and maximizing the things that you enjoy around you. So if you have an environment, if you are in a place where you are surrounded by things that bring you nothing but joy, that is going to benefit you 10 times more than a place where you're trying to thug it out and get to some imaginary finish line that you'll never obtain because as long as you're leveraging your time for money, you will never win. The system is not designed for you to win leveraging your time for money. It does not take into account your multi-dimensional aspects or your numerous qualities and traits. It puts you into a singular box Most corporations are looking at a singular aspect. I recently had to quit a job because I gave up on myself creatively. And I told myself, well, let me just do whatever it has to take till I get through this period until something comes. I'll just work, do what I got to do. But when I got to the environment and I realized very quickly that it was a rigid environment, an environment that I long outgrew, I couldn't shrink myself to fit within that corporation. And I told myself, if I was going to be putting this much time into something, I might as well be putting it into myself. Because if I'm already broke and unhappy right now, but putting into myself with the hopes that one day something is going to work out, And everything will pay off. All the hard work will pay off. Why would I then transfer all of that energy, all of my prime energy to a corporation who is paying me at a cap, paying me to be in a box, paying me to shrink myself, paying me to do a task that could be automated and not recognizing my value and not granting me an environment in which I can thrive in. An environment in which is similar to the ocean and similar to me being a fish, I can swim around without feeling like I'm in a tank. This is the problem with most corporations and this is why you're seeing people not wanting to work present day because they are seeing there's other ways to make money. And all you have to do is educate your ways on the various ways there are. That's where you start. You start with learning because if you are financially illiterate like I was, you're going to fall into the trap of not investing, but rather purchasing consumables that you believe will make you feel better. This is what I did when I was younger. I purchased things that gave me a sense of instant gratification. 
But what that did was hurt my long-term financial strategy because it put me at a disadvantage because when I was younger and I had the money and I had less responsibilities, I could have been investing that and been gaining crazy returns on my investments because of the sheer amount of time they've accumulated versus trying to play the catch-up game and invest large amounts now to catch up for the mistakes that I made when I was younger and financially illiterate. You know, these things are not taught when you are young and living within a poverty community, a community that is built upon lack. These things are not expressed, and because they're not expressed, you don't know to go look for them. You know and you see the wealth and the glamour and the glitz on TV and the entertainers, but in reality, you have no conception of how it's even remotely possible to amass wealth of that size. But in reality, it starts with the education, the knowledge. I had to educate myself on the things that I was doing wrong and understand that no matter how much money I made, if I couldn't give myself the discipline to not spend it, then nothing would matter. I could make a million dollars, 10 million, a trillion dollars. It would all be gone because of the lack of discipline. And this is a hard thing for young people to understand because it was a hard thing for myself to understand. It's easy to get caught up into the competitive ego aspect and want to flex on people, want to be the one with the only pair of this or the only that, the exclusiveness, right? But exclusivity comes with a price, Because you're excluding yourself, you're removing yourself, and so you can't connect on the same level because you're removing an aspect of yourself. And you're trying to replace it with something external, something that is providing some sense of gratification, but ultimately it's just hurting you. It's hurting you because it's not allowing you to respect the natural process. You have to respect the natural process of learning, evolving, and becoming better. The universe is going to throw alley-oops your way, but if you're not there to slam dunk that, it don't matter. You see what I'm saying? You got to be there ready and know your timing has to be impeccable. Timing is everything. If your timing is not correct, it doesn't even matter if you were the perfect candidate. If you show up at the wrong time, you will not be considered. This is why it's important to be attentive to what you want. Set your destination so that you are not procrastinating saying, I'll figure it out when I get there. I'll declare my major when I figure that out, when I figure out what I like. Pick something and use your heart to fill it out. You see what I'm saying? And as you use your heart to fill it out, if it feels good, continue. Double down on it. Invest in yourself and figure out what you love. Once you figure out what you love, it's just a matter of figuring out how to monetize that. If you love Wingstop, go buy Wingstop stock so that every time you purchase that, you're actually paying yourself back in a sense. Everything that you consume should be feeding back into you. This is how a relationship works. A healthy relationship means that both both parties, both entities, both energies equally contribute something to the relationship. If one party is only receiving the value, that's a parasitic relationship. You have to ask yourself, everything in your life, are you receiving the value from it? Because if you're not, it's easy to get caught up into the trap of thinking that you're a victim, that life is happening to you. But in reality, life is happening for you. And it's pushing you to be better. It's pushing you to be stronger. It's pushing you to tap into your ancient wisdom, your cellular memory, and truly rise to the occasion of becoming who you are destined to be. So to my younger self, trust in yourself first. Don't look for external validation. Don't do things just for the money. 
Do things because it feels good. Do things because it feels right. Do things because you can say, you know what? It could have went another way, but I'm glad I chose the way I did. Be glad that no matter what you choose, it's going to teach you something. You can't make a wrong decision. So just live your best life and do what feels right to you because nobody is going to grant you the freedom and nobody is going to unlock the cage for you. You must unlock the cage, spread your wings, and take that leap. Nobody is going to take it for you.